Are you sleeping? Hey. Hey, wake up. Come on. Would you just wake up already? All right. My name is Sam Spatero. Welcome to my channel. If you are new, please hit the subscribe button so we can now welcome you into our community where I make videos that teaches you how to eliminate the villain in us all that comes from all the beliefs and the things that were instilled in us and pushed on us at a very young age from parents, family, friends, schools, religion, society, government, wherever it is that it all came in, it's time to flush it all out and create a new superpower that you can take with you along the rest of your journey in life so you can create a more fulfilling, powerful, goal-oriented, happier, wealthier life. Okay, so the purpose of this video is for you to start waking up. And I include myself in that as well. I mean, if we can go back in time, not even just from a child perspective, the things that are ingrained in us from our parents of who we need to be, how we need to treat other people, you know, um, what our relationship is with money, what types of things we should do later in life, whether it's school or you're going to go get a job or a trade, how you also learn how to treat a woman or a man in a relationship, how you also learn to treat others, how you learn to deal with problems, whatever it is, I want you all for the first time to wake up. And maybe you've been sleepwalking through 2020. You haven't really been seeing what's going on. Well, let me kind of put a reframe in you from for the last, last seven months. We were shut down from a virus. We had an economic catastrophe. We now also have riots going on around the world. And now we're back to the coronavirus again, and who knows what is next. And so I heard a really wise quote, and it said, stand guard at the door of your mind. And so today, I hope we can break through that paradox. Today, I hope that it can help you to break through that box life and thinking that was created for you so you can really see things for how they are and then best navigate the world so that you can learn to start winning just a little bit more. And so with media having such a profound effect on us today, and you know what, media throughout time and history has been used as a tool to either do something really positive or something extremely negative. And so I kind of want to talk about where we are now. But using a time in history, back in the 1930s, when Germany was a superpower, but then they had an economic catastrophe. They experienced hyperinflation, which means that their money was worthless. One day they woke up and a bag of milk was worth $500 that was literally worth $5 maybe a week or the day before. And you can actually see videos of people in Germany that were burning money just for heat because it was so worthless. And what happened after that? Well, we know uh, they went through an economic depression. And what happens in that process is that the middle class is wiped out. And another key thing that happens is, is when you have a society that is extremely vulnerable, they will follow whoever it is, even if it's not logical, to help them get out of, out of complete desperation. Gerald Salente says, when people have nothing left to lose, they lose it. And what does it have to kind of do where we are today? Well, we all know what happened. Hitler came into power. He started shooting off rhetoric at town halls and all across the nations. It even got thrown in jail and then was released because the people at that point were convinced that he had the way through that hard time. And we all know what happened if we look back in history. And so since my channel is devoted to helping us strengthen our mental health, to free ourselves from the anxieties of the world, which is what's coming in the future, um, the uncertainties, whatever it is that 
might be there in front of us is we've got to kind of stop and take a pause of where we are today. And I'm not knocking anything that's really, you know, going on world as far as like movements and, um, you know, a lot, a lot of what people say, because I think that there's one key thing here that we all need to recognize in Western societies is that we had people that have fought for our freedoms that risked their lives and died on battlefield so that you and I could talk about what we feel. Whether someone agrees with it or not, that's the freedom of a democracy is to express oneself without worrying or being fearful of how another person's going to take it. But where we are today, it's a little bit different than where it was maybe a year or two or three years ago. And so that's what I want to talk about. I think it's really important today that we do a couple things. And I kind of want to leave you with this. One thing I really want you to do, because we live in a country and my ancestors fled here from war ravaged uh, Italy back when Germany invaded. And I can remember stories of my grandfather telling him hiding up in the mountains, you know, being shot by German soldiers and drinking water with his t-shirt in a puddle and just eating raw, raw potatoes out of a farmer's field. And so here we are today. It's not like that. But it's a different kind of war. It's a war on your mind. It's a war on your freedom, your thought, your capacity to just speak the way you feel. And what also happens along the way in this is we've separated ourselves into two people. We have the left and we have the right. And that's not the way society should be. In a democracy, we should have peace and freedom and stability which means that we all have a mutual respect for one another's beliefs, values, religions, purposes, directions in life, whatever it is it might be. And so today, we're headed in the opposite direction. We have people that are running specific groups that are using the wrong context. And yet, in society, you and I both know today with the things that are going wrong and that are being acceptable and tolerated are completely wrong, but yet we learn to turn a blind eye. And the question is, why? Why is it being perceived this way? Why are we sitting back tolerating this when deep down we know that it's wrong? And then there's those on the other side that know that it's wrong and they're fighting for your freedom. They're fighting for their children's freedom, their families. Maybe their loved ones that are in the ground who fought for the very ground that we stand on today. And so, here's what I want to leave with you today. There's many things going on. And I, know, I truly believe deep down in the heart and soul of all of us that deep down, underlying, even though the message might not be good or maybe our actions might not seem positive, deep down... In our heart, we believe that we're doing something good that's going to make a difference. But there is a different way that we can get our point across. How is it? How is it right now that there's certain things that are being tolerated in society? I understand what happened with George Floyd. But should it really be accepted and tolerated that people can go around vandalizing, demolishing businesses, burning fires, that now there's more deaths from this whole thing that's going on? that would happen prior to this. We need to wake up. We need to wake up and really see what's being pushed on us. We need to see the truth. There were some things that I seen that were starting to happen prior to being shown on TV. And literally, if you look at our past, you can kind of see where the future is going, if you can see the trends. And here's the trend that I want to push forward. I want you to take control of your mind. I want you to take control of what you think. I want you to take control again of what you think is just and right. And then fight for that freedom to speak about how you feel in a very positive way. Because if you look at people before us, of all cultures and races, the ones that have had the most profound effect 
have learned to use this and not this. And so I want to end on that note. Today, if you want to become your own hero, as I continue to try to do on my journey of life, is try to find a way deep down to push out a more positive way to get out what you don't understand and what might frustrate you and anger. Because either way, we're picking into that toolbox that we have within our hearts and our minds and we're pulling out emotions and thoughts and feelings at will. I'm just asking you to choose more intelligently. And let's get this message out. Let's start a movement where we can all learn to become our own heroes so that we can make a difference in this world. And there's never a better time than now. I can tell you if you look at the way things are going, it's not going in a very good direction. Because if you take A, B, and C today, you can see what it's going to equal sometime in the future. And you're going to have a lot of regrets, as will I. And so today, let's do something positive. As long as you have air in your lungs, you still have the capacity to make a difference. And trust me, what you do will matter, whether it's to one person or two, as long as we all try to make a difference. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. If you got some comments and some things you can share down below, please do so in the comment section. Hit the notification bell as that will tell you the next time that I'm doing a video. And I can really use your support in growing my channel, getting my messages out there. And like I always tell my children at the end of every night, and I'm going to tell you, if you are going to dream today, guys, please, 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 always make sure that you decide to dream big.